give y'all extreme amount of credit bro uh and the, the best part of it is we, we drew up something in the timeout you guys had a better feel for it man you executed that thing you believed in it you earned it man you earned it so job win on three one two three we we next world Trust is a big word in the game of basketball. And I'm going to be honest, really frank with you. But that's how we used to break our huddles, trust. Well, we don't do that anymore. I think that is a huge word. And it takes time. That's a, you know, I trust my brother. I trust my mom. I trust my dad. That is a huge word. And to use it in the game of basketball, that's going to take time with the new group. We break the huddle and we say win. All right, and so whether that is winning this possession, winning today's game, winning this relationship with this player, winning this rebounding opportunity, we can scrape, you know, really scrape it down and, and have it that simple. There's still some work to be done to get to know each other, but uh, we, we do need to start streamlining this thing and getting going in the right direction. Nets about to begin a seven game homestand. Seven game homestand is crazy. It's the longest that the Nets have had here in Brooklyn. This should be a good homestand for us. We get a chance to sleep in our own beds, play on our own court, have our own fans behind us. Uh, but you got to take care of business. And the goal is to win every single game we play. Every game we play at home is so important because we want to keep our fans engaged and keep them supporting us through just having a good product out on the court, which is playing hard, playing together. So it's a lot on the line when we play at home, and we want to take advantage of those opportunities. Durant steps back. Connors. Even he's impressed with his work. He is 17 of 22. We're still building. We know we got a long way to go. You know, a lot of guys have been in and out of the rotation, obviously, so it's changing a lot. But we're just staying focused and, and building day by day. Drop it in. No look. Cam Thomas flushes it down. The Nets have won five straight here at home, and for the first time this season, they have a winning record. Let's talk about T.J. Warren. Welcome back. T.J. Warren has not played in an NBA game since December 29th, 2020. It almost felt like a, like a dream. It's just like, you know, as soon as I checked in, it just like kind of hit me like, wow, like, this is real. And, once I got up and down, it was just like, all right, this is basketball. So it was just super fun just to be out there and competing with the guys at the high level. The Celtics end the Nets winning streak at four. You know, these guys aren't happy, but I, I think that's a part of the growth and the learning and how you need to progress and where you want to progress to. We know we have high expectations for our team, but the process is more important than the end result. We're moving the basketball well. We're covering for each other on the defensive side of the ball. We're playing as a unit on both ends. So we continue that, then we'll, uh, we'll be trending in the right direction. Just playing with a lot more confidence. Everybody's uh, accepting their role. And I think uh, we're just catching a good rhythm right now. So we just want to keep it going. Simmons a steal right out of the gate. Simmons down the middle, takes it strong. 
we've been grinding our guys with minutes, and uh, these games are coming fast and furious, but they're answering the bell. And uh, six and one home stands are pretty good. Brooklyn Nets, they got it going on. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving have been hitting teams with one-two punches, and they've been playing Yuta Watanabe, the guy they signed late, and he's injected a whole bunch of life from them coming off the bench as a defender. Jacques has said on a number of times that the team misses your production on the floor. Just when you signed here, were you expecting that big of a part of how this team functions, or not so much? I mean, I guess no one expected it, right? Like, uh, even myself, um, in the trading camp, my goal was just to make the team in the first place. And then, you know, slowly gain the confidence and the trust. I haven't changed anything since I got to the league. Just coming here every day, uh, work hard, just like I've been doing uh, since day one, you know, coaching staff. So that every day, I think that's why um, they started trusting me. Lob it up. Watanabe. The steal. The acceleration. The bucket. for Brooklyn this season. He is on a non-guaranteed contract. The first thing is he's about the team. Whether that is making shots, whether that's energy, whether that's being a great teammate. Yuta's 28 years old, so he's had some life experiences. You know, he's, he's married, he understands sacrifice. And so uh, he's at a different place than when I first met him when I coached him in summer league. For his teammates to see the sacrifice that he's made to put himself in the position that he's in, you cheer, you want guys like that to be successful. Durant, Watanabe! Oh, Watanabe! Off the window! I like to see people smiling. It's a, it's a great feeling. He does all the little things. Be able to switch, guard guys with his length, rebound, cut to the rim, and then when he knocks it down shots, that just turns into an incredible player. It's easy when you have teammates like AD or Kai, cause like they double them every time. So someone's gonna be wide open and just make shot. Simple, simple basketball. Watanabe unloads. Oh, he can't be stopped. When I hit four threes, that was like really indescribable. People are standing, clapping their hands, uh, calling my name. I never had a moment like that in NBA. That was, that was an amazing feeling. You guys can tell how much our teammates trust in me, like by how they pass the ball. The chemistry is getting better every day, so we just gotta, you know, keep trusting each other and keep improving ourselves. Is this the happiest you felt with both your game and, and your situation? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm always a happy guy, no matter what. Um, but uh, definitely playing some minutes, playing with some greats, that's uh, definitely, I would say, the happiest moment now. Eight different key rotation members of the Nets are out tonight. Now, one player the Nets get back tonight, Utah Watanabe. Haven't seen him in a while, but when we last did, he was just outstanding for the Nets. Jacques Vaughn has often said, you're issued a Brooklyn Nets jersey for a reason. And this is an opportunity for many of these players who have done some great things with the Long Island Nets, some other veterans, to come out and to compete and frankly show the coaching staff in this group what they can do and perform like. Here's Sumner dashing to the cup and finishing. The connectedness of this group has been so fun to watch. Really praise Markeith and Patty for their leadership guiding that group out there, uh, making big plays uh, across the board. Another offensive rebound. Mills, you bet! They may be down bodies, they are not down heart. Thomas looking for more, and finding it! Cam Thomas taking over! Brooklyn pulls off the unlikeliest of victories in Indiana! That game was just incredible. Regardless of what's going on around you, everybody staying focused and staying you know, to the mission. We stay poised and that's the type of team you know you want to be on.
Real three, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Building trust, that consistency, that discipline, and just having some fun out there, competing at a high level. We had a great home stand, and now we got to take care of it on the road. Just have some fun doing it. When KD has a grin on his face, that means we're playing hard. Our leader is happy, and um, all of us are, are taking that, that leadership role as well and controlling what we can control. Since November 1st, this team looks like a contender, period. This is an incredible stretch of basketball. This is the type of basketball that we envisioned with the Nets. But the team is connected. They put their trust in Jock Vaughn, and Jock Vaughn is delivering. I think the biggest thing is seeing guys really dedicate themselves to playing hard. And then you tack on creating habits on both ends of the floor. So we can continue to head that direction. Uh, good things are in store for us. Irving surrounded. Irving into the paint. Watanabe! You bet! Utah! Mr. Clutch! When you get wins like that where everybody is on the same page and, and we're all flowing like that, it feels even better. It doesn't just feel like a game winning shot that I hit. It feels like, you know, just celebrating with your guys, winning something that uh, you put a lot of hard work into. Durant will fire! And hit! KD putting on a show! I'm having fun. I'm knocking down some shots right now, so I feel mentally I'm getting better and I'm starting to understand the game on a different level than I did before. This game is getting better still, which is pretty difficult to say, but some truth behind it. When he's doing performances like this on a consistent basis, you just you can't take it for granted. You know, we got to enjoy the time while he's here, not just as a, as a teammate, but the whole entire world watching. The Nets, third most points in a first half in NBA history tonight, 91. That's what basketball is to me. You know, guys sharing the ball, us getting the best shot we can every time down, and then trusting each other. I think as players, those guys always want to play the highest of competition. And sometimes that is reflective of win-loss columns. These guys are so conditioned to challenges and wanting to be number one and be the best that they do look forward to playing elite teams. When we have that collective trust of everybody buying into the big picture, you know, we can look down the line and, and see we have talented guys and that'll get you so far. But when you have guys willing to sacrifice and do the little things, that makes a big difference in the flow of the game. And we're doing a great job of talking and communicating when we come to the bench, Jock holding us accountable. And we just want to keep it up. We don't want to take our foot off the gas pedal. We know it's a long season, but this is a great pace we're at right now, and uh, we feel good. The hot streak continues for the Brooklyn Nets. Nine consecutive victories. As these last few weeks, this last month or so, starting to move, we're figuring out our identity as a team. And we walk into every game believing that, all right, if we stick to this template and to this structure that we have, we'll be fine regardless of what goes on in the game, up and downs. Just knowing what we want to do every time we step on the floor keeps our mind at ease. Fantastic game tonight in Atlanta. The Nets outlast the Hawks. This team has got experienced players. They've got superstars. They've got professionals that are continuing to show how much they bought into the identity of how they play. And it's helped them to get some wins. Fendel, jumper. Hopefully we're going to be a group, it doesn't matter, you know, what the situation is. We show up and we play. And uh, whoever's gonna play, we hoop out. The next challenge on our schedule, Chicago. That's who we'll prepare for, that's who we'll be ready to hoop against. We got one thing for you, right? Y'all can't play football like they can, but you know, let, let's see what we can do right here. Come on. Win on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yes, sir.